Um, the, um, yeah, how many of y'all like free stuff? Free. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we're going to play a fun game tonight and give you a chance to, um, I have some of our new recipe season, um, our new season's recipe cards up here and some of our season's best cookbooks up here. So I've got some fun things for you guys tonight and all you have to do to have a chance to win is ask me a question about my job or the paper chef business. You can ask me a product question, but I'm not going to give you a ticket. So save your product questions for in a little while. And um, But you can ask me anything about my job or the Pamper Chef business. And um, let me start by giving out these envelopes. Give me that, Wendy. And give you that, Angela. And give you that, Adrian. Just hang on to those. And um, you can ask me anything from how much does it cost to get started to um, do we have to make deliveries? Do we have to keep inventory? Does my husband mind me being gone in the evenings? Um, do you have to know how to cook? I think I already covered that. <laughs> and uh, anything that you would like to know. So who has a question? And the first person to ask the question gets two tickets. Um, I'm sorry, you're hand first, Kelly. Yes. I actually, the, the question I was going to ask, does your husband mind you being gone in the evenings? Great question. Kelly asked me, does my husband mind me go being gone at night? And uh, my husband was very skeptical when I first started this because I remember I couldn't even cook. Um, but I was earning $100 or more a show when I got started. And so that was working out really well for my family. In my second month, I did two shows a week and earned over $1,000. So um, he was very supportive <laughs> after that. <laughs> and um, over time, um, Pimper Chef has opened up a lot of doors for, for my family um, because of my Pimper Chef business. And it enabled my husband to go back to law school. And he did not work for three solid years. And my Pimper Chef business helped cover our bills while he was in school. So he he is incredibly supportive of my business. So um, he gets time to um, be home with my little boy while I'm gone in the evenings, and I go to a show when he's home, so it works out great. Who else has a question? Lynn, you had a question? Yeah. How many hours a week do you put into it, not just shows? I mean, you know. As a new consultant, when I started doing two shows a week, pretty much right off the bat, that takes about eight to ten hours of your time to do two shows a week. And um, that's going to earn you an average about $800 to $1,000 for about eight to 10 hours worth of work. So think about what your week looks like. And if you could figure out where you could plug in eight to 10 hours, then you can have a very successful paper chip business by doing that. And then this is a great job that you can eventually build into a full-time um, income by working part-time hours. Wendy, do you have a question? As long as you've done this, do you find that weekends are better days to have shows? The absolute best day to have a Pampered Chef show is the day that works best for you. Uh, and what I love about Pampered Chef is that our consultants pick when they want to work. Right. So I love to work on Tuesday and Thursday nights. So my best Pampered Chef shows are when? Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday and Thursday nights. nights. If you love to work on Saturday, when are your best Pampered Chef shows going to be? Saturday. <laughs> on Saturdays. Um, because this is a consultant business and you are in control of your business and you decide when you want to work. So I do shows on the weekend and during the week, and you, you pick what you want to do. So that works out great. Right. Yes, Angela? I assume you make money on your team. How, what do you, what do okay. you get for your team? Great question. Pamper Chef, whenever you build a team with Pamper Chef, it's like any other business model in America, um, they pay the manager to train their team. And the better you train your team and the better your team does, the better the manager is going to do, right? Does that make sense? And it's the same thing with Pampered Chef. So they pay you an override when you get started with Pampered Chef. I mean, when you're a, um, a director or above a Pampered Chef. So you earn an additional override on what your team does, but it doesn't take away from what your team makes. So, for example, if Wendy's on your team, she's not ever going to make any less, and you still make your base pay, but when you go into management with our company, then you're paid an override which is above and beyond. So, um, somebody asked me how much you can make as a Pamper Chef consultant. What do you make? Question. Great question, Angela. <laughs> okay, you guys have um, those envelopes in front of you. Who has envelope number one? Okay, um, if you'll look inside and share with us what's inside of envelope number one, Wendy. And you can count that out and share with us what it is. <laughs> Tell us how much you got there. $400, that's right. Um, and that's what a new consultant in their very first month is going to make on average doing one show a week. A new consultant is going to earn an average 100 or a little bit more dollars um, per show. So just doing one show a week, you could earn an extra $400. What would you do with an extra $400? Enjoy Anybody? fees. What was that? HOA fees. HOA fees. <laughs> family, <laughs> um, cell phone. Yes, no, not with your mortgage. What else? What family, was, cell phone. Family, cell phone. Kids, cell phone. Family, cell phone. They don't bet. Um, so I think all of you could find something to do with four hundred dollars a month, right? And if you're doing one show a week, that four hundred dollars isn't just your first month; it's every month that you're doing one show a week. Who has I'd envelope take a vacation. number? Ta Lynn would take a vacation. <laughs> yes. Where would you go, Lynn? Where would you go on vacation? I just like go to Myrtle Beach for a Myrtle week. Beach, that would be fabulous, wouldn't it? Yes, and that would help out a lot, wouldn't it? Four hundred dollars. Okay, so one show a week that could easily help out. Angela, you have envelope number two. What's in envelope number two? 
if you'll count that out for us. $900. $900. So Angela's holding an envelope number two, $900, which is what an average consultant would make doing two shows a week. Doing two shows a week as a new consultant, you're going to earn between $800 to $1,000, depending on your show average. So about $800 to $1,000, that's life-changing amount of money. If you had that coming in every month, what would you do with that? Anybody? Throw something out. Pay the mortgage. <laughs> Pay the mortgage, yes. $800,000 yeah. dollars go a long ways towards paying the mortgage. What else? Anybody buy a else? new car. Buy a new car, yes. We have several people on our team who have bought a car um, by doing Pampered Chef. Um, mm -hmm. What else? Anybody else have Pay a Pay off call? credit cards. Pay off credit cards. What could $800 to $1,000 do every month that you're not having to take out of your monthly budget to put in credit card debt? And um, there's lots of people in, um, in Pampered Chef that have paid off credit card debt and are absolutely debt free because of being able to take their whole Pampered Chef earnings and pay that off. Um, okay, who has envelope number three? Adrian, can you open that one? And Adrian actually has, you can unfold that and look at it, Adrian actually has a check for what an upper level um, director can make in our company um, on average doing two shows a week. This is an average check for me doing two shows a week. Can you share in there what's highlighted in there and how many shows I, this shows how many shows I did a month, how many shows I did a week, and, um, and what the pay was. Can you share that with us, Adrian? Sure. You did eight cooking shows in the month, two shows a week, and you made $6,135.84. So I don't show you guys that to brag. There's people in Pampered Chef that make a lot more money than I do, okay? But this is a company that you can start out working part-time hours and build a full-time income, okay? So in the beginning, doing two shows a week, was I earning that much money? No. But by building a team, which as Angela asked earlier, you can do two shows a week and earn that kind of money and more. And in Pampered Chef, if you want to come in and do some shows and have some fun and earn some free products, I'm going to help support you and do that. But if you want to come in and earn money like that, I can help you do that too. I'm going to walk right beside you, help you get started, help you with your first show, and um, help you learn how to do this business and help you build a team if that's what you want to do. So um, Pamper Chef is for so many different people because you can work it at any kind of pace you want to. So who else has a question? You know I already said this, but how long have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing this for about 14 years, and I still absolutely love my job. This is the best thing I've ever done, and of course I'm earning more money than I ever have with any other job I've done. So I love that I do this. So this has really changed a lot of things for my family. Any other questions? How much did you say it cost to get started, and how quickly do you Great question, Maury. Your first page? <laughs> um, you can take a look at the kits again on page two, um, page three, I'm sorry. That has everything that comes in the kit. You can choose from the $80 kit or the $159 kit. Getting started with Pampered Chef is as simple as picking out which kit you want to get started with and scheduling your grand opening show date. I help you with everything from there. It's that easy to get started. And Lori asked um, how soon you start making money. We get paid twice a month. So you get a, a mid-month pay and an end-of-the-month pay. So it's right away. As soon as you start doing shows and get those submitted, within two weeks you're going to be turning around making money. So it's very fast. Great question. Isn't there a time frame where if somebody can't make it to the show that they still have a week or so or a few days to order? Um, yes, yeah, so you, you, if you're doing a show like tonight, um, I try to wrap my shows up within about 48 hours because you at the show tonight, you guys took your time to come and you are anxious to get your stuff back. So I don't want to make you guys have to wait. So I really try to encourage the host, if there's anybody that couldn't make it, usually they can see whoever they need to or get the order within two days. So I try to wrap up within two days just so everything's coming back really quickly and makes for very happy Pamper Chef customers. How's that sound to y'all? So yes, they can still get an order in after the show. So anybody else have a question? Yes. The online shows. Yes. Now, I know there's a difference between having shows in the house and having, do you call it an online show? It's a catalog show. Catalog and they, show. But you can do um, online sales through the catalog show. And as a new consultant, you get a free website for your first 90 days, so we're able to set your shows up on there. So the, cal the um, catalog show is a book order where you take up orders or do the online um, orders. They can shop right from your website. And the cooking show is what we're doing tonight, but you can still get online orders from your cooking show from out of town friends and family that couldn't come. How, what if you don't have, know a lot of people? How do I get, how do I book parties? Is it hard to book parties? We help you get started, um, but usually the best way is to host a show, have your friends come over, we train you that night, help you get your business started that night, put the bookings on your calendar that night, and it's not really, um, it, if whether you know a lot of people, but who your friends know. So if you have a handful of friends that can get you started, you're going to meet people at those shows. When I started, I worked in law enforcement. I was the only, I didn't have a lot of girlfriends in the county I live, so the guys that I worked with, um, their wives hosted shows to help me get started. 
and I met people from each of those shows and built my business that way. And um, I moved my business seven times since I've been in Pampered Chef and restarted in seven different locations. So if I can start with knowing no one moving somewhere, you can certainly do this with knowing a handful of folks. So, very easy. I have one more ticket. Anyone else have a question? Anybody? Let's see if I can find my slips. Well, somewhere. Here we go. Here we go. Um, hang on to your tickets. We'll pass a cup around in just a minute, and if you'll just tear your tickets off and you keep a piece and put that in there, and we'll um, give away some stuff. And we'll pass out this um, slip, this customer care slip. If you will fill out your contact information, put your email address on here clearly so you will actually get the recipes that I email out after the show so I can read it, and, um, and I'll email you all the recipes that we did tonight. And um, after all these years, one thing I have not figured out how to do is read your mind, and I don't know if you're interested in hosting a show, and um, our host, Andrew, Angela gets credit when you host a show, so I need to know you're interested to give Angela credit. So please let me know if you're thinking about doing a show in here. And um, if you are interested in um, earning some extra money, or if you know someone who is not here tonight, who's out of there's a lot of people that are out of work right now that don't have jobs right now. And doing Pampered Chef is a great way. It's a lot easier to find a job when you have a job. So it's a great resume filler and a great thing to be doing while you're looking for work. And um, um, instant money that you can start bringing in right away. You don't have to wait in line and go up against a lot of other people for um, for one position. So um, we can get you started. So um, let me know if you'd like some information for yourself or someone else. And if you are interested in getting started, um, just tonight let me know which kit you want and we can set your grand opening show date and get you going. And um, if our host Angela were to become a consultant, would you host a show to get her started? Because I know a lot of you would love to have a show with me, but some of you would have a show, may not have a show with me, but would have a show with Angela. So let me know and let me know which products that you would like to get um, that you don't get tonight so I can let you know when they go in special. So take one of these and pass it around. And some pins I'll pass it out. And I got, we're going to go back in the kitchen and get ready to eat. I want to thank you guys so much for coming tonight and I just want to wrap up by saying I know the Pampered Chef is not for everybody but it's for absolutely anybody to try. And by looking at you tonight I can't tell if um, you know, you uh, stay home with young children and just can't wait to get out of the house a couple times a month or if um, maybe you dropped your child off at daycare and you wish you could stay home or if maybe um, you could use an extra four to five hundred dollars a month because you're worried about paying bills at night or if um, you could use a new car and a great way to make a car payment by doing this. But Paper Chef can meet a lot of different needs um, for people. So um, you'll never know if you don't give it a try. So if you're interested at all, I'd love to help you get started. Let's do a show, give it a try and see what you think. So thank you guys so much for coming tonight. Okay. And Angela, thank you so much for having us. We're going to go and um, taste all the recipes that we did tonight. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.